was 26 and working at Brobeck, Flager and Harrison. It was a firm that was a huge firm, but it's not in business anymore. Um, and um, when it happened, when the earthquake happened, I didn't realize it was a very serious um, earthquake. At first, I didn't know that it was an earthquake. Uh, the stairs for my building led were outside. And so I thought the woman behind me, who was a really tall, large woman, thought she just was <laughs> falling down the stairs. <laughs> no, that's not funny. <laughs> but there's a story behind that, too. Anyway, okay, there was a guy named Manuel Noriega that the country was looking for, and we were joking that she, he was really her, hiding as a woman. Okay, <laughs> so but anyway, she, the um, earthquake happened, and I knew it was serious because people were crying and kissing the ground and screaming, and the buildings were rolling, because um, in California, the buildings are engineered to um, withstand earthquake. It was a double California World Series, and our office, um, we had San Francisco office and a Palo Alto office, um, we had tickets to the World Series. So a lot of our office was gone, and some people got stuck on the um, overpass that collapsed and killed. Two, 250 people were on the freeway, so, and only one guy survived. Um, but um, driving home from my office, I realized that I was suddenly aware that something, you know, the earthquake loosened stuff and things could fall in my car. Um, it, it had a very slow um, reality that dawned on me that this was a really serious earthquake. I had friends who lost their houses. Their houses slid off the foundation. I worked with um, my roommate and we shared a townhouse. Her half of the townhouse was destroyed inside, not, you know, not structurally. Mine was totally in place. Go figure. Um, um, how is it different? And I, I mean, how, how did it affect my life? Um, well, it did affect my life in that, um, you know, our jobs changed at work because people were out or, you know, not coming back. Um, and I don't know, I mean, um, it, it affected how I interacted with people. Um, I had a group of friends that we met for dinner on Friday nights, and um, like I said, a lot of people lost everything. One guy was set for life, and um, he lost his house. It wasn't insured because he owned it, so a lot of people didn't get covered for the loss, and um, he ended up killing himself. So, I mean, it did have a profound effect, but I think that for me personally, I don't know how it altered my life at all in that um, it didn't change the course of my life. I do know I eventually met my husband, um, or you know, we started dating or whatever because of um, our Friday night group that had dinner every night. We got a little bit closer because of the event. I think. Um, but that's it. <laughs> I can't do it now. No. <laughs> Why is it making me laugh? Say you love me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs>